this is a case of aniridia with high myopia you will see this is a 12 diopter aniridia lens we got it custom made for this patient the diameter the total diameter of the iol is approximately 11 mm and the white to white of the patient the horizontal white to white of this patient was 12.25 So we got a customized uh, aniridia lens. There you can see we measured the lens, approximately 11 millimeters. Now this lens is got a central pupillary opening of 2.75 millimeter. Again, customized for this patient. Now these patients have a lot of glare and halos. They are unable to move out in bright sunlight, and they have very very difficult time while driving their vehicles. So we start by making a scleral. tunnel first we do a cautery now the scleral tunnel in this patient is to be made nearly as large as the diameter of the lens so here we mark an approximate 11 mm of the length of the incision the reason being unlike a foldable lens these are pmm lenses and they cannot be folded and another thing is any amount of tight wound uh, with a lot of pressure on the haptic or any pressure on the haptic in fact can end up breaking the haptic and because these haptics are also made of pmma and they are very brittle and they may break we create by creating a small scleral tunnel approximately tunnel length in the sclera is 1 mm to 1.25 mm we instill viscoelastic to make the globe tight now once the globe is ensured that the globe is made tight we now again make the tunnel slightly wide and approximately half millimeter into the cornea once that is done we use a keratome 2.8 millimeter to do the fecal emulsification now these lenses are very haptic are very brittle any amount of extra force on these haptics can cause breakage of the haptic so we have to be very very gentle with these haptics now while doing capsular excess few things to be remembered while doing capsular excess are since these haptics are made of pmma and they cannot be folded or bent like hydrophilic lenses or three piece lenses as a normal surgeon may be used to we make slightly larger capsular excess 7.5 mm in this case the reason being that in case the capsular excess is very small the haptics will have trouble bending to go inside the capsular excess into the capsular bag and also if you make the capsular excess very large the dialing of the leading haptic will cause p podding or the extrusion of the opposite side haptic in case the capsular excess is very large so it's a good idea to have a capsular excess within 7 to less than 8 mm now we delivered this soft cataract into the anterior chamber now this delivery of this cataract is been done and we just do a very moderate amount of fecal emulsification and since it's a soft cataract doing it in the anterior chamber uh, is not a big problem so you will notice that it's a very soft cataract we're just fast forwarding the surgical video because the relevant part of the video will be insertion of the uh, iris painted uh, aniridia lens another thing important thing is that you have to be careful when you come out with your irrigation instrument uh, while doing the surgery because uh, some time the zonules in these patients can be also weak and also since this is a case of high myopia a lot of pressure changes into the anterior chamber will transmit the pressure changes in the vitreous which can lead to retinal issues or retina detachment or pvd or uh, some thing to be uh, concerned of at a later point this patient was thoroughly examined by our team of retina surgeons with scleral depressors and everything was found to be nice and the patient was found fit for surgery now you will see me extend the wound with a 5.25 mm keratome this does come handy and gives a very clean cut when you want to enlarge these wounds you can also use a crescent if you want but some of i am comfortable with this 5.25 mm lens now here you will see me uh, showing this uh, lens now the trick of implanting this lens as you will see now is you have to make sure that the leading haptic is totally inside the wound before you start putting pushing in the optic there is a slight tightness of the wound approximately the wound is probably 0.25 mm smaller than the total diameter of the iol now without putting much pressure we engage the eyelet of the pmma haptic into the bag and then in the slow gentle dilating dialing movement 
we ensure that the trailing haptic is now into the bag. Now, as mentioned earlier, as the leading haptic goes into the bag, the trailing haptic, which is the haptic which now I'm going to ma maneuver, has come out of the bag. So this is a common situation which may happen with a PMMA lenses with PMMA haptics. So you need to be sure that the downward depression force on the haptic is less. Otherwise, the opposite side haptic will peep out of peep out out of the bag. And also, you can use the eyelet onto the haptic to manage and place the lens inside the bag. Here you will see that finally the lens is in placed in horizontal position. Now, one more thing to mention here is that though you will see a rim of area of total lanar area, which is not being covered by the lens. But in my experience, whenever I operated such cases, the peripheral border of anar area does not bother these patients much. And these patients do very well because it, sometimes it is can be very, very difficult to have a very, very large optic IOL. And once you have that kind of an IOL, it is very difficult to implant it within the capsular bag. So even a slight amount of uh, bare rim around the lens is not causing much problem to these patients. We create another side port to do a bimanual irrigation aspiration of the viscoelastic. Now, since our main wound has been closed with a suture, we can do this bimanual removal of viscoelastic very, very comfortably. You can see that the lens is absolutely vent centered, approximate nearly three millimeter of central pupillary zone and the complete anaerobic part is taken care of except a little amount of peripheral area. Now we proceed to suture the conjunctiva with a 7-0 vital suture, give the suture in a shoelace pattern, make sure that the wound is absolutely closed and there you will see the lens is absolutely centered. This patient did very well. He was 6 by 12 unaided and extremely happy and came for the second eye surgery after one week. Thank you.